What's up guys, Fritz here, and today I got a pretty cool tutorial, it's a transition, to be honest, um, it's kinda cool. So basically, after you hit your bill cam, and you're ready to upload your thing to YouTube, you're gonna edit it, and you're gonna see this thing here, and you're gonna go And it's cool, so here, this is what it looks like, sort of, kind of fast mode. Like that, and it kind of bulges up, and those things come from the side, and it's kind of neat. So we're going to learn how to do it. Just get rid of that. Stop that. And we're just going to get rid of the clip in general. Okay, so here we go. So we've got our clip down here. And um, so he hits the bill, yada, yada, yada. And you can see here we've just got this blank spot. So if there's music, um, just, I don't know, sing it to that. But we're just going to ignore it right now. So we're going to go to the first frame in the kill cam sequence. So that would be right... Here, so see, there's the there's the kill the G Hawk. There's nothing. So we're gonna go here, and we are going to split our clip. So Control Shift D. Okay. Now we're gonna drag this top layer over. So we're gonna bring it over here, so that way it kind of starts earlier, and it's cool. So we're gonna go to the first frame again in our game winning kill cam, and we're gonna hit G on our keyboard, pen tool, or you can just go and click up here, and you're gonna kind of just select the points I'm doing so it's the bottom corner but above where it's kind of shaded so basically just the bright area of the map where it's the same color so there and there and now we're gonna turn the bottom layer off and you can actually just select a point and use your arrow keys to adjust where it goes so it can be dead on perfect um, because when you're editing the smallest little details of that is actually you know what makes your edit so much better so I could have zoomed it in and got rid of the black line, but whatever. So there we go. Turn this bottom layer back on, and we've got this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to have this top layer selected, and on your keyboard, hit Control-C and then V. Control-C, and then just hit V. While holding Control the whole time, it'll make two layers. So go down, hit this arrow on your top layer, go to Mask, and check Inverted. So that way now the mask is inverted on it, and it kind of appears like the thing started. So now we are going to hit P on our keyboard on the top layer and the middle layer that we made. And um, so these are the, la the layers that we masked and everything. And we're going to move over a couple seconds. So right here, and we're going to keyframe them both just with the position at normal. So now we're going to go to the beginning, and we're going to go to the top layer, and we're going to move it over to whichever side you want. So I'm moving mine to the right, and now I'm going to move the bottom layer over to the opposite side so to the left and that way if we watch it you can see they kind of come in like that and you can easy ease them to make them a little bit smoother so just uh, select all four like that just click anywhere down here and select right click go to keyframe assistant and easy ease and uh, let's say you don't like it because I know this is kind of something that I didn't really know at first if you don't want to undo your easy ease select all of them right click go to keyframe interpolation and then change this to linear and then they go back to normal but we like easy ease because it kind of makes it look nicer so that's if you want to re like redo it so now we gotta have the bulge because the bulge is um kind of what makes the whole effect flow so we're going to make a new adjustment layer so we're gonna right click hit new go to adjustment layer well I didn't mean to do that I swear to god Jesus okay so here we go we got our adjustment layer we're going to look up bulge in our effects and presets tab. I didn't mean to make fun of Jesus, whatever. Um, put that on there, and we can make this go over here and over there. And there we go. Okay, so that's in the middle. We're going to change our bulge, bulge height to 0 0.7. So there we go. Right in the middle, hit U on your keyboard. Um, you have to keyframe the bulge height. Hit U on your keyboard. Go to the beginning of kind of just like a little bit before they start. Change your bulge height to zero, and then you can see here it goes whoosh, and then go a little bit to after the, when it's all together. Change your bulge height back down to zero, and you can easy ease it because we already easy ease the other stuff. So we'll just do that. Right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and there we go. That's the transition. So one of the things you can do to kind of make it a little better is to add a whooshing sound. So what we will do is we will actually import an intervention sound. So Let's just go kind of take a look around here and see if we can find some intervention sounds. So, um, da -da -da, there we go. One with two. And intervention. And it's going to tell me I'm an idiot. Yep. Oh, look, I'm an idiot twice. Okay, there we go. So, we got our intervention sound. We're just going to put it on here. And uh, hit this arrow down. Hit audio. Hit waveform. 
and you can see here we've got there's our shots so it's like BAM but we kinda wanna get rid of that so right click on it go to time hit reverse time layer and that will reverse it and then we're gonna kinda go to take take like this middle area here so we're, before like the big bang we're gonna hit alt and bracket because we don't want that then we're going to keyframe the audio level so we don't really want it to be this you know crazy loud like kind of sound we kind of want it to be kind of like you know settled down a little bit a lot more relaxed so we're gonna bring that layer all the way down to zero go to our middle of the, the shot bring it back up so we will go up to like 12 and then there you go. You just kind of got like the little intervention sound. So play with it. It's not your like it, I don't know. I didn't, I don't even know if this will work. But you just gotta gotta play with it. And that's what it is. Like that's all it is. It's an intervention sound that you mess with a little bit. And um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, link Fritz or Fritz or whatever. And I'm out. Subscribe at the top and like the video. Bye. Yolo.